Hey guys, it's Roy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Remember I mentioned this firewood the other day? I brought home some wood and uh, said that there was a lot more where that was from. And I went and got it today. Let me show you. Here is the rest of it. I don't know how much it is. I guess we'll see when we get it cut. But there's some branches. Um, longer branches. And there's some logs. And it was all cut and ready to go, except for the branches. All cut and ready to go, waiting for us to come get it. And I went and got it. So we got some firewood. Uh, I gotta get this uh, off the truck, get the chainsaw and cut them to length. Split the ones that need to be split. And stack them, let them dry. These are dry, look at that. These are dry and gonna be burnable this year. Isn't that nice? So that's definitely a bonus. So I'm going to get this wood off the truck, might as well uncover the log splitter while I'm at it because I'm going to be using it here pretty soon. Once I get the wood off the truck, I'll cut it up with a chainsaw. Run this a little bit today and get some firewood for the homestead. So that's some nice sized pieces of wood right there. So these will be ready to split. Put them right next to the log splitter. Less work. Now, the only reason I got to unload is I stacked in a hurry. Some of these pieces got to be cut. Actually, it might be easier. I might be able to roll some away. I'm just probably creating myself more work trying to be neat and avoid picking it up later. Because I've got the uh, stuff that's got to be cut underneath everything else. And I don't want to hurt myself trying to, to work around it. It won't kill me to pick it off the ground. And then all the tree bark, that's resources for the garden. Mulch. I'm going to keep adding mulch every year into the, the gardens raise grow beds keep adding uh, layers and layers and layers and that'll absorb moisture and retain it with time Now I can get to the others. These ones all got to be cut. I'm just going to literally throw them right down here and cut them with a chainsaw. Might have to be all fancy and take it very far. So I'll do the cutting first, and whatever needs to be split can be split. Okay, I've got some pieces over here yet that need some cutting from the first trip when I did it with the car. This one could probably be split once. That's going to heat our home this year. The tree bark I'm going to sweep out and keep. So 
at that. That's good resources. Everything's a resource on the homestead. All that tree bark, look at that. Good stuff. Oh, ants. Bad stuff. Get it off the truck. Bad. All right. Okay. Well, guys. The Husqvarna. I just got it back from getting the uh, sharpening. Keep it, I've been cutting firewood over where I can get the free wood as much as I can. I've been going out so I keep the chainsaw in the car. I have a brush. I still got to figure out from last year where I kept it, but I have a brush for this that I was keeping in here. I always do the oil first. So I don't forget, it's incredibly important to have the oil. You run out of gas, you're just out of gas. You run out of oil, you could damage something. Mm. Just saw his cut a lot of wood. I love it. It's got about a half a tank. But best to keep it filled up anyway now. I'm gonna chop this up and split it yet tonight. Get it all done. The more the better. Winter's coming. It feels like fall in here. It absolutely feels like fall. So, when I'm working with uh, just hauling logs, I wear my light shoes and stuff, but I got my real boots on. When I'm cutting firewood, I'm not playing games. I don't mess around with the chainsaw. I got steel-toed boots, and I've got the I forgot the professional word for this, but this is supposed to stop a chainsaw. I always forget the waistband. It's hot, but I gotta do this. I usually don't do much with a chainsaw without putting this on. Just for safety reasons. So I usually do my cutting in the fall. Because whoa, this can make you sweat bad. I gotta say, I've used this heavily. And then my helmet. I love this one a lot too. That's a Husqvarna. So I'm going to gear up and I'll start cutting this wood up. a little bit loose anyway I'll get that going I'm gonna cut the firewood 
I don't show myself cutting firewood on camera because I get a lot of flack from people. Oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong, and then I get nervous and I'm going to hurt something. So I'm just going to do the firewood, and then we'll be back in a few minutes. i got to tighten that chain a little. I just got that back from the shop the other day. It's $5 to get it done by the shop, and like a half hour to an hour for me to do it myself. I, I don't, all I have is a hand file for now. I'm not that good at it. So, anyway, I think it's worthwhile. I got it done. It is what it is. I'm going to cut this up. So I got the four logs up here. And I got a nice little mess of logs laying around here. All ready to be cut up. Uh, split, I mean. So I'm going to fire up the uh, log splitter and we'll split them up. And stack them. All oak. machine. I turned the uh, screw, the gas fixture screw in a little bit as somebody suggested to see if it helps. I'm going to let it run a minute.
Well, there's a little bit of wood. That's the stuff that had to be split. And then down over here is stuff that didn't have to be split. You saw me throwing that off to the side, getting it out of my way. And a few stragglers over here. Oh well, it's a nice addition to the wood pile. And it was free. Good stuff. I put down 4x4s to keep the wood off the ground. Now that I have them, they're available, I use them. The dry wood goes up top on the other pile. The wet wood goes down here and the lower pile. And then the oak I'll pick it out from the back side. And then the pine I'll pick it out from the uh, other side and work my way to the middle. That way I'm always burning the most aged wood at any given time. Most of the small stuff is all nice and dry, but it's mixed with this. So, let's see how much it adds to our wood pile when I'm done. Well guys, the wood pile's getting bigger. Now as I stagger them, I'm coming out a little further here, so I'm not losing any space really. I just happen to, uh, buy, that's how big the 4x4s are. So, it's getting higher. It's getting there. We're getting some firewood. So today was all oak, and it feels good to have that much oak in here. I still need to double what we got at the bare minimum, maybe triple. I'll keep going, I'll keep at it. Now I've got tree bark, which is a resource. And then I'm bringing over the, the bark chipper, since this is where the tree bark is going to be. And I'm just going to run that through the chipper all the time, right here. All my machines will be right here in one place. For convenience and then I can use one tarp to protect it all so I got it over here and uh, this is where it's gonna stay I'm gonna probably get it running again tonight 
and uh, I'm not going to use it. I, don't, I got to bring over the tree bark, but this is where I'll run it. I haven't touched it since last fall. I did keep it tarped. Fired right up. I needed gas and a wrench. Good old tool. That was that one that was seized up solid that I restored, remember? That one, there it's smoothing out. That one had water in it, and I opened it up and cleaned it up, and I got it running. And this is where it's going to stay. Well, guys, another day comes to an end here at the Offgren Homestead. Got a mess of wood hauled in, cut, split, stacked. Got my wood chipper running, which didn't require anything but adding gas, firing it up, and that's all going to come over here. Did a lot of other things, but you'll see that on separate videos. We had some amazing homestead cooking today, and that's on a video, a separate video. And now I've got to clean it all up and put things away. So that's the end of the day. It's Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. A really good day at the homestead. Please like, subscribe, and share and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. And hit that bell icon and get notifications of uploads. Talk to you later.